All right, for our second part of the review, it is going to ask you to use scientific vocabulary to explain how water that is in the ocean could become snow on a mountain top. So you, if you want to start with drawing a model, that's great. But then it is asking you to use scientific vocabulary to explain. That means you are writing a paragraph. You need to first draw out your picture to show where it would go and then walk me through it. That's great. So writing out with scientific vocabulary. We're not just saying it went up. Tell me what process made it go up. How did it get all the way to there? Don't skip steps. Okay. So tell me everything a way, right? There's lots of ways it could go, but you can just do the quickest way. It could go from the ocean to snow on a mountaintop. So go ahead and pause and do that and then come back to see the different grading scales. So if you needed to draw yourself a picture, that is great. Um, but if you just said, right, there was evaporation, condensation, precipitation, that is, that's a one, like, or you skip steps, that's a one. If you have a sentence, that's a two. Water went through evaporation, water would go through condensation, then there would be precipitation. So, right, if you just wrote these in a paragraph, like three sentences, that's very basic, that would be a two. So this one says water goes through evaporation, turns into a vapor. So add a little detail to vapor. Now vapor goes through condensation back to a liquid. Then there's precipitation and it has to be cold enough to be snow, right? Over here it just says precipitation. That could have been rain for all we know. So this one adds sentences in there to explain those. And a four adds even extra. It's talking about is heat added or taken away. Heat would be added for liquid water to transfer through evaporation and turn into vapor. Then heat is taken away for vapor to transfer through condensation and turn into a, back into a liquid. When the water in the cloud storage reservoir, sorry, I'm adding in that extra vocabulary, cloud storage reservoir became dense enough. Ooh, there's another word in there. It, gravity would pull it down toward the earth as precipitation. Heat would be taken away for the liquid to be turned into a solid which is snow. So you can see that four just has extra vocabulary. Heat is added. It's talking about liquid, vapor, density, gravity, evaporation, condensation, storage, uh, reservoirs, where three added a little detail to each of the definitions. But this just had a lot more. Two doesn't have any definitions, but they are complete sentences. And one is just a word or not the correct word there. So decide which one you are closest to and circle that there. And then write the reason that you would give yourself that grade. What did you do that matched that? And then write yourself a goal of what are you going to do to do better on the test? You need to make sure you add more vocabulary words or write in complete sentences.